All right, guys, good afternoon. Um, the reason why I'm recording this video today, excuse me, is, um, you know, there was a conversation that was had via social media network uh, Twitter yesterday on the Twitter. And um, I just wanted to kind of recap on that after having some time to kind of let that sink in and all that good stuff. Um, so essentially what we're looking at is we had a disagree myself, uh, me, you mad bro YOLO had a disagreement with some other users about a specific topic um, that was pretty much a male perspective on a female um, situation. And some people were offended by what I said or how I said it. And for those who were offended, I extremely apologize. Um, I was not here to offend anyone. I also was not here to, you know, look like a chauvinistic pig who doesn't understand women or is sexist or anything else or received as a bigot. Um, I have a huge respect for women, um, women of power, because you guys can do a lot of things that a lot of men can't. Um, the wherewithal, as my daughter just crashed down. Um, but the main thing is, is, you know, a lot of people... A lot of the ladies that got in there kind of got real, they kind of, they got real defensive right off the gate. Um, you know, I understand you guys go through a lot of shit being female streamers and you deal with a lot of things that we as men don't have to, you know, but like I said, I just offered my general opinion. Um, I tried to refine what I said many times and that obviously didn't work. So it's quite clear that the topic about talking about female appearance on stream, it's, it's a dead topic to me because at this point, you know, my opinion, you know, really doesn't, doesn't matter to anyone anymore or my thoughts because, you know, it, it, it created a shit storm yesterday that didn't really need to be needed. And like I said, if I offended anyone before, I apologize. You know, I definitely want to apologize to everybody in the cantina um you know as the co-founder of the cantina that's not you know the image that we want to promote as a community and as a community leader you know it's it's on me to you know pick the right situations and put myself in the best spot um to not only represent myself but the other people who follow me in the community um and look to me for guidance um i'm not a majorly large streamer but i have a, a pretty solid following you know, throughout the social media um, outlets and um, uh, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I understand the struggles um, on a daily basis for the most part of a female because I was raised by a single mother. Um, even to this day, my brother and I both were. You know, I have two daughters, so now I'm kind of seeing the parenting aspect side of it. But, you know, to watch some of the things that my mother did you know, how hard she worked so we could play Little League and, you know, go to scout camp and have new shoes. You know, I see a lot of dads out here today. You know, my own father, for example, um, he bailed. So before I was even born. So, you know, I can see the power of what women can do. I know what you guys can do. I have the utmost respect, like I said before, for women in general, because I was raised by one. And I wouldn't be who I am as a person if it wasn't for my mom, you know, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't understand how to love and take care of my daughters um, if it wasn't for her. So like I said, that being said, you know, if anybody's offended, I truly apologize. I wasn't trying to offend anyone, you know, and, and I can completely understand speaking to several people privately um, who just messaged me and said, hey, you know, do you understand that, you know, we battle this every day and I do get it. Um, you know, it's like the racial barriers and divides. I deal with that on a daily basis too. Um, but my personal preference is to not discuss like race, religion, creed, gender, anything like that on social media for this reason is because opinions are going to get heated. Um, emotions are going to get involved on all parties involved and it turns into a, you know, a giant finger pointing match against you know, who's that, who's saying this, who's saying that, you know, who's the bad person? Oh, who's really right here. It wasn't a question about right or wrong. I was just offering an opinion, you know, because somebody had posted some artwork with their opinion and their thoughts and me always 
thinking outside the box, decided to say, hey, well, what about it from the, what about this from this perspective? And, you know, talking to family members and um, other people that I know that are female, they pretty much told me that the, uh, you know, the big thing is, you know, topics like that, you should, you should have never got into it. So, you know, you guys want to do your own thing. You want to, you know, say what you say, you know, all that other good stuff. That's, that's your opinion. That's your choice. I'm entitled to mine. All I'm asking is that if you're going to expect freedom of speech, you have to allow it to other people and not be so easily offended. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys on the stream. For those of you who were upset with me and don't know me, feel free at your mad bro YOLO. It's the same as my YouTube channel, same as my Discord, same as my Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook. Anybody wants to message me or call me through those outlets to share your opinions, your concerns, feel free. Um, it's not going to turn into a shit show where you're just going to berate me because I'll shut that shit down real quick. Um, but like I said, I'm always open to dialogue. I'm always open to learning new things. Um, you know, graduating from college, getting a degree, you know, that helped me really kind of understand people as a whole. And, you know, there's different developmental trainings that I take at work. Um, to help deal with, you know, daily, like understanding daily conflicts like this. So, you know, that being said, you know, I owe you, my followers and subscribers, my heart, my deepest heartfelt apologies. Um, everybody in the, in the gaming cantina, I apologize to you as well. Um, any family or friends that were offended by my comments um, on any, in any way, shape or form yesterday. I apologize, and to the the women in that Twitch feed or that Twitter feed that were offended and um, just they were visually. I mean, I, based on what I could read, they were verbally hurt. Um, I'm sorry. I, I really don't know how to express that more than I already have, you know, because I've seen what the Harvey Weinstein's do and the Larry Nassers have done. And, you know, like the Jerry Sanduskys have done it and all the other crazy, creepy people in the world. You know, I'm not trying to put my name on that list. So because that's not who I am, first and foremost. But like I said, I apologize to you guys specifically because I wasn't trying to offend any of you. I wasn't trying to upset any of you, um, you know, but being the glasses half full kind of guy or both sides of the fence. I just, to me, I just don't understand if you're going to offer your opinion on something and not allow somebody to offer it back and get mad at them, then that kind of defeats the purpose of you offering your opinion to us in the first place. So, in hindsight, it was not the best idea for me to engage in that conversation. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to engage in any of those kind of trivial conversations um, going forward because, like I said, I don't think it's the best representation for myself the cantina or anybody who supports or follows me on any of the social media outlets so with that being said i hope you guys have a great day stay safe and if you haven't i'll see you when i see you all right bye